Hi, all my beautiful and handsome, sexy Virgos. How are you guys doing today? I hope all of you are doing well. So thank you guys for watching. First and for foremost, thank you guys for watching my video. Um, I will appreciate a like. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, please subscribe to my channel. Also, commenting down below could help me channel some of your energies because I am an energetic reader. So if I feel some energies from the comment section, I pick up on it and it gives me more accurate readings for some of you guys. So that's just a heads up. You don't have to do it. You could just say Virgo and I will understand and I will pick up on some of your energies that way as well. You don't need to give me a whole life story because that's not what I'm looking for either. But if you would like to tell me a little bit about what's going on in recent love dynamics, not old dynamics, but recent love dynamics, some of you are still connected to somebody who's an old person that you disconnected from. And there's some of you who are on the path to meeting somebody else. There's people who are dating here. So I'm going to be channeling current love situations at this time, romantic love situations. How is this person feeling towards you romantically at this time? Okay? So, um, and what actions will they take? So this is for my beautiful Virgos. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements in Virgo. Virgos, yes, yes, yes. All right, spirits. So I did some pre-shuffling off camera. And I'm using my broken mirror oracle cards. How is this person feeling romantically towards my Virgo collective at this time? How is this person feeling romantically towards my Virgo collective at this time? How is this person feeling romantically towards my Virgo collective at this time? How is this person feeling romantically towards my Virgo collective at this time? All right, so messages want to come out. Let's see what we have. Okay, it says opposites attract. It says lessons, not your usual type, different spiritual beliefs. Ooh, okay. So some of you are um, going to meet somebody or have met somebody who's not usually your, your average type. You know, like the average person that you would usually deal with in your past. Some of you may have been attracted to some toxic individuals okay let's just say that you've been toxic to you've been attracted to toxicities okay a lot of negative minded people some of you are going to be meeting someone if you haven't met them already once you start when you start dating you open up yourself to someone for the virgos who are not dating it's encouraging you to date as well there's going to be somebody who's going to be a little bit opposite towards you they're going to be a little bit different you might even see them as a little bit like oh they're kind of goofy <laughs> is what I'm getting like uh you kind of goofy like you kind of weird but um that weirdness later on they're gonna like start growing on you through conversation and through spending more quality time with this person you're gonna start to see another side to them like I said with the yin yin and the, the yin and the yang um you're gonna see a different side and you're gonna have a different belief about them moving forward okay they're gonna change some kind of your mindset is what I'm getting some of them, is they could have a different spiritual belief from you. And you're just going to be open-minded moving forward in this connection, this new love situation. Okay, so this is opposites attract. So like fire and water energy too. Some people are, you're going to be meeting your um, opposite sign. So your earth signs, you might be meeting like a fire sign or a water sign. So, um, or air sign, something that you're not typically you typically don't deal with some of you don't want to meet those signs because you have bad love situations with but be open okay i'm just feeling like this person is just going to be um more personality differences okay they're just going to be a little quirky a little bit like goofy like i said <laughs> okay goofy like uh, i don't know all right so it says conflict resolution compromising making amends positive outcome Ooh, i like that energy so somebody wants to resolve a conflict with you. If you just had a recent falling out with somebody, they want to resolve this conflict. They want to get down to the bottom of it. They want to make amends. They want to make it right. And it's big Virgo energy as well because Virgos like things to be orderly and meticulous. They like to get things done. And you guys are very good at like making sure you obtain your goal, attain your goal. So this person that you're connected to is also like-minded as well. They also want to get to the root of the cause of the problem. So this person wants to make amends. They want to see a positive outcome. They're determined, as you can see, as he's pointing in her face. Some of you are dealing with um, a controlling, domineering personality. So I don't encourage toxicities. But those I'm feeling more of, like those in a healthier love dynamic, um, this person is just going to be more assertive. 
okay? They're going to get to the root of the problem. They're going to try to address it as before it becomes something really tumultuous or ends into like a bigger situation, okay? Then we got sick and tired, okay? Cycles over it, de decision made, okay? So some of you, this is like an ex returning, okay? This is a, a person that's constantly, or just not even an ex all the time. It's somebody who's just constantly always trying to get your attention. And it's like cyclical, you know? It's like cycles done. I'm over it now. I made up my mind. This is boring me. Your antics are not amusing me anymore. Those little things that you try to do to get my impression, my impression is not helping. It's not working. You could try again. You could keep trying. I'm not entertained. You see how the dog is looking? It's just like, oh, I'm not entertained. Okay. Some of you are just like, stop your antics now. Leave it alone. And the same thinking of you. Hmm. Crying nostalgia, missing you. So somebody's thinking of you at this time. They're crying. They're having nostalgia about you. And they're missing you at this time. Okay. So even if you guys are not communicating with a certain somebody at this time, the person on your mind, this person is thinking of you. If you're not even thinking of them, this person's thinking of you, okay? This person that you're in your most recent love connection with. They are thinking of you. And some of them may be crying, okay? It seems like this person could be very in tune with their feelings for some of you. Virgos. Okay, so take it wherever the energy resonates, if it resonates at all. Please remember to always use your own discernment in these readings. If it applies, it applies. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Don't make it fit. And energies are always transferable. It could be your energy. It could be their energy. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I'm having like a little cold coming up. Hopefully, it's just allergies, nothing too severe. All right. So um, how is this person feeling romantically towards my Virgo collective at this time? How is this person feeling romantically towards my Virgo collective at this time? How is this person feeling romantically towards my Vir Virgo collective at this time? How is this person feeling romantically towards my Virgo collective at this time? How is this person feeling romantically towards my Virgo collective at this time? Okay, so this person wants to put the heaviness, the burdens in the past. They want to leave it alone. They want to just put it all aside, like I said, with this cutting out card this conflict resolution card let's cut this bullshit out i just don't want to carry this burden anymore this heaviness that is blocking the energy between us i don't want it let's cut the let's cut the crap now is the vibe i'm getting okay somebody wants to cut the crap let's stop it with all this dumb bat playing back and forth with all this tension and animosity let's stop doing that i'm getting tired of the games let's put that conflict to the side and let's address it now Okay, so somebody's coming in with some grown man, grown woman energy here. Okay, so current romantic feelings for the person that's on Virgo's mind. How are they feeling towards Virgo at this time? Current romantic feelings towards Virgo at this time. How are they feeling romantically towards them at this time? How are they feeling the person on their mind, Virgo? How are they feeling towards Virgo at this time? Romantically. Okay. How are they feeling romantically in this love situation? Yeah, somebody's definitely trying to put the crap behind you. They're trying to put the crap behind this love situation. Um, leave whatever happened in the past to be in the past. Whatever issue you had, even if it was just a temporary breakup that some of you guys have with this person. Or just a brief falling out. They are looking into like the infinite possibilities of this relationship at this time. You know, they're looking to nurture this connection with this conflict resolution card. It's getting giving me this strong conflict resolution. So somebody's quite clear-minded with this King of Swords energy. Okay, some of them are a little bit um, hurt at this time. They're being a little bit stoic. But um, they see that you're growing, that you're abundant, you're stable, you do your damn thing. Whether you are single or not, you're practicing a lot of self-care at this time, Virgos. And they see that you're nurturing yourself, you're loving yourself, you know, whatever you're pouring into as far as work, financial financial stuff, some of you are going into different business endeavors, they see that you're growing, you're prospering, you're doing your damn thing. They admire that that quality about you very much. Um, they're still trying to resolve some kind of conflict that led to some kind of heartbreak 
between you two. Some kind of like, it doesn't have to be permanent heartbreak, but something that broke your heart. They're trying to resolve this conflict. They keep reflecting on it. They just want to figure out like ways they could um, resolve this issue that you're having at this time with this Three of Swords. So we have this King of Swords energy. So some of them are feeling kind of cold towards you. So let's see, what is this King of Swords energy about how they're feeling towards Virgo at this time? Why are they feeling this King of Swords energy towards Virgo at this time? Ooh, okay. Huh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. So this person's operating, um, yeah, this person's definitely putting on a poker face, okay? So this King of Swords energy, they're coming across like they're clear-minded. They're using their logic over their heart at this time. This person is fronting, okay? Heavy and hard. Hard in more ways than one. This person wants this new passionate beginning with you, okay? They, they want this new romantic opportunity with you. They want to start... You know, growing things from the bottom up, like, like I said, putting all the bullshit to the past. Let's start this from the bottom up. Let's grow this from the bottom up. Let's really put this stuff in cement. Let's really work hard towards this love situation that we have going on. Strong passion and energy this person has towards you. They want to make this offer of stability towards you. Okay, they have strong lust feelings is what I'm feeling. A lot of strong sexual feelings <laughs> is what I keep... I keep staring at this Ace of Wands. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, so they have a lot of lust, lustful feelings towards you, but they also see you as somebody who they could have a stable life with. They want to invest in your Nine of Pentacles energy. They want to invest more into you to achieve this Ten of Pentacles dynamic with you. Okay, so they want to offer this stability, this heavy stability, which is the ace of all aces. This is a brand new, the biggest coin of coins in the tarot. They want to offer you stability. Right now, they feel the need to hold on to it. They need to hold back. They feel the need to hold back at this time. So let's see. Why do they feel the need to hold back from offering stability to Virgo at this time? They feel like it's not the right time. For them to take pursuit yeah they're waiting for the right time they feel like right now it's not the energy's not there because they feel like you're guarded and um they want to make a, a romantic endeavor towards you moving forward they're going to it's like what i'm getting with this nine of wands energy they're going to come after you with this will of fortune but right now they feel like they need to hold back until they start seeing things turn in their favor until they start seeing that there's more communication between you two and things become start to feel like less um, toxic, less, you know, broken, they would like to um, let their guards down and offer you this stability. Some of you, this is your energy, okay? This is also um, Earth sign card. Some of you are withholding your energy at this time. And even in newer love situations, due to past traumas, some of you are just like posing and acting like, oh, I'm over things, I'm over love, I'm over this, I'm over that. But this person, I feel like this is a newer love energy for some of you guys. Some of you, it is somebody you could have been married to. Um, but this person wants to come through with a stable offer. They're just fronting. This person is like, they put it on this poker face acting like, oh, okay, I'm all, all is well. I made up my mind about something. But they really did not make up their mind yet. They really would like this offer of stability moving forward. But right now, they don't feel like it's the right time to make this pursuit. But they would like to give you some DD or some, some dick. Or some, <laughs> some, some nani. Okay, I'm gonna just say it in a nice way so I could not get flagged here on YouTube. Okay, so why do they feel this nine of pentacles? Why do they feel this abundance about Virgo at this time? Yeah, they don't know. They're right now. They don't feel like you're ready for a commitment. They feel like you're more focusing on your girlfriend's stability with your your money getting your money situation up. Some of you are getting, you know, starting your own business. So they feel like right now you're not really looking for a stable opportunity. You're just probably looking for some fun with them. Um, and that you kind of turned your back on them right now because it's like, I'm in my elements. I'm in my elements. I made a decision as well. Somebody you could have been married to for some of you guys. I made a decision about this. I'm quite clear-minded. I'm open to entertaining what you have to say. But right now, I'm just kind of like turning my back on you in this love situation. Okay, why is this Three of Swords here for their current romantic feelings towards Virgo at this time? What is this Three of Swords? Yeah, see, they're heartbroken because they have a lot of emotions and love for you.
Yeah, I tell you, this person wants to invest in this Ten of Pentacles. They, even if you didn't have a love dynamic with them, a family dynamic, some of you did. But this person would like to build towards the Nine of Pentacles so being solo independent energy. They want to invest in you or invest in your business. They want to make you more fruitful is what I'm getting. They want to make this final decision between you two because they have a lot of love for you. Okay, they're heartbroken. They're in their emotions. They're in their feelings. Okay, about a decision some of you have told to them. Um, that they're not liking too much with this King of Swords energy. They're not liking it at all. If you think they're okay with it, they're not. Okay? They want this new passionate beginning with you. They would like to start things over, but they don't feel like it's the right time to give you this offer of stability as yet. Until they start seeing some changes in this love dynamic. Okay? So right now they're going back and forth about offering you this stability. They definitely want to have a rebirth in this connection. Like, um, And this is not all about the past energy. It's talking about just... Anybody that you just recently had a falling out with, they want to just rebuild things. If you just had a breakdown where you just stopped talking for a little bit, they want to work towards things again. Okay? Uh, what is this person reflecting on for Virgo's love situation? What are they reflecting on for their current love situation at this time? Yeah, they're reflecting on something that ended with a cycle for some of you. This decision that somebody made to end something. Why are they reflecting about this? Yeah, because they see your your your, your self-worth. They know that you have strong self-worth, strong boundaries, strong um like just this is the king and the queen of pentacles. I mean, this is your match. Ideally in tarot, this is your match. Um, there's not a lot of love energy here, I'm not gonna lie. Um, besides the Queen of Cups energy. But this person sees you as their counterpart. We have the King and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So they see as somebody who's who's growing, who's abundant, um, who knows their self-worth now, especially more than ever. And they want to make this judgment to come towards you, okay? With passionate love energy, I feel like this person just wants to do you down really badly, okay? They're making a decision to come towards you. The Empress, you guys are the Empress, the Queen of all Queens, the King of all Kings, okay? <laughs> In this love world, okay? So they see you as somebody who's growing, who's prosperous at this time, sexy, handsome, doing your thing right now. They have strong attraction towards you, okay? Heavy lust, heavy strong attachment. Attachment. They feel it's so hard for them to hold back from you, to resist you with the strength card. It's like, damn, I just want her so bad or I want him so bad. But right now, I just don't feel like I should. Because if I do try to invest in this connection at this time, I know I'm going to go all in. I know I'm not going to give her or him any um, breadcrumbs. I'm going to actually fully invest this time. I'm going in with my full passion. This strong, less energy. This person is gets turned on instantly from you. It's the energy I'm getting. <laughs> strong romantic feelings this person has. So I feel like this person is going to make a romantic advance towards you this week or flirty conversation is what i'm getting okay because this person wants to move this thing forward and i feel a strong energy with this okay strong lust energy here okay so what actions will this person take towards virgo in love with their current love situation what actions will this person take towards virgo in love for their current love situations at this time what actions will they take towards them this week the time that they're seeing this video, what actions will they take towards Virgo? What actions will they take towards Virgo this week? Mm. We got the Ace of Pentacles again. Somebody's sure that they want to offer you stability here. Virgos, what actions will they take towards Virgo this week? What actions will they take towards Virgo this week? Yeah. Some, yeah, this person is definitely practicing conflict resolution at this time. Whatever issue, they're quite clear-minded that they would like to have this offer of stability with you. They want to even out the kinks, like I keep saying. They want to even out the kinks. They want to compromise. They want to make amends with whatever arguments or decisions or whatever quarrel, whatever battle, whatever conflict you guys are experiencing at this time. This person wants a conflict resolution. They want a conflict resolution towards this, okay, to heal this connection with the Six of Cups. It's somebody that you have a lot of memory, nostalgia with. Okay, they want to, they're quite clear that they see you as a stable opportunity. They want this with you. They just know that there's something that they, that needs to be like, 
dealt with. Something needs to be dealt with before this reunion could take place. So this person's coming, like, they're not coming with no little boy or little girl energy. They're coming with, like, strong feelings here. Strong, secure feelings. They're matching your energy. Some of you are dealing with another earth sign um, or a fire sign. So this person, like I said, if it's a newer love interest, this person is, like, your opposite. But they feel like your differences are going to bring you guys together. And some of you have evolved even if you disconnected from this person and they're, they're just like feeling like they learned a lesson from this situation and they would like to take a, um, they feel like you just vibe well together is the energy I'm getting. It's the yin and the yang. You guys vibe well together. They're sick and tired of cycles. They don't want to keep repeating things over and over again with you. The tired, like cut the crap is what I keep getting. Like cut the crap. Let's, let's cut the crap. Let's resolve this conflict once and for all. Let's get to the bottom of this. And resolve this because I love you and I miss you. I have strong, heavy emotions for you. Whether if I show it or not, I have a lot of feelings. This person's masking their feelings. Okay? And this is current and new love situations. This person is fronting a lot. They have strong feelings for you. So this person's looking to give you a stable offer at this time, this week. Okay? Some offer towards stability. Um. So let's see. Let's do some love oracle messages for my beautiful Virgos. Virgos, my Virgo collective. What is it that this person would like to say to my Virgo collective? What is it that this person would like to say to my Virgo collective? The person that's on their mind, what is it that they would like to say to my Virgo collective? What is it that they would like to say to my Virgo collective? What is it that they would like to say to my Virgo collective? The person that's on their mind for Virgos. What is it that they would like to say to my Virgo collective? What is it that they would like to say to my Virgo collective? What is it that they would like to say to my Virgo collective? What is it that they are uh, the person on their mind would like to say to my Virgo collective? What is it that they would like to say to my beautiful and handsome Virgos out there? One, one more card. Okay, they want to give me the whole batch. The whole batch here. Okay. Okay, guys. So, it says, Why can't I tell you the truth with that King of Swords energy? Why can't I tell you the truth? That have all this love and emotions for you. Why can't I just tell you that? Will this ever change? Conflict resolution. Will this ever change? Will this cycle keep happening over and over again? Could we stop this now? I wish to be like you. They admire you. Okay? They admire your growth and your stability. Whatever way you're getting it. I feel like a lot of you are just like building yourself at this time financially. They just like your go-getter spirit. They want to be exactly like you in a good way, not in a, like a toxic way. I can't handle your love. Okay. I'm the man. So some of them, some of you guys deal with a divine masculine or, you know, a toxic masculine energy here. I don't know where to start. Okay. So this person's having a problem with starting something, but they would like to start from the ground up work you know work towards something more stable moving forward okay so this is current love situations for my beautiful virgo gang um if anything resonates you can always comment down below and please also remember it helps whenever um you do send at least a comment down below just say virgo or something um i could tap into some of your energies and i could feel it more fervently and I could do more accurate reading for my beautiful Virgos, okay? So, also, you guys can follow me on TikTok. I'll be posting shorts on there as well whenever I can do these longer videos. Um, so, my TikTok is in the community section, the community post of YouTube. And, yeah, that's it for now, okay, guys? So, thank you, my beautiful Virgos. Love you much. I hope you all are doing well out there. Stay safe and see you soon. All right, bye, guys.